Yeah, I do see quite a bit of discharge um, in the vaginal canal. Hi there, is it alright if I come in? Okay, thank you. Hi there. Hi, yes, my name is Sarah. Thank you so much for waiting for us. Yeah, I realize we're a little bit backed up there, but it's really nice to meet you. Yeah, so, um, I did see in your appointment notes, yes, that you were scheduled today. Um, because you've been having some pelvic pain and then some vaginal discomfort and discharge, is that correct? Yeah? Oh, please don't be embarrassed, yeah. It's really, really normal. We see it all the time in our clinic, so I hope you know that, um, yeah, we're not judging you at all here. And it's something that we see every day, so um, I do realize it's, you know, quite a personal topic an area for most people so um, you know we don't like to openly talk about it but you're in a very safe environment we keep your confidentiality so you know I hope you feel able to speak freely with me um, and all we're doing is just kind of talking about what's been going on so that I can best help you okay yeah yeah please don't be embarrassed I know it's easier said than done because it's just, you know, not something we always talk about. But um, I assure you, um, we'll get this done really quickly. And all we want to do is get to the bottom of the matter. Okay? Great. So I do have a few questions for you. I kind of want to get a better sense of um, what's going on. Um, but I know your um, appointment note says that you've been having um, the discharge and the discomfort for about two days. Is that correct? Okay, great. So, I hope you don't mind. I make notes for myself on the side. So, two days. Okay. And did anything in your normal routine or uh, did anything change? Did you do anything differently? Or do you kind of suspect what may be the cause um, of these symptoms? No. Okay. Well, yeah, absolutely. So when was your last menstrual period? About two weeks ago. Okay. And you think maybe from trying scented pads? Yeah. You know, that, that's actually um, a kind of a plausible theory. Yeah. Absolutely. I myself try to avoid any kind of scented products down there. Yeah. It's not too good to, um, as you know, probably put anything up, you know, douching or anything scented um, is often, you know, a marketing ploy. So um, that might be it. Um, I will definitely check during the exam to see if I, you know, what the nature of the um, discharge is and if I see any kind of other irritation. Um, but that is a good theory, actually. Um Okay, and then the discharge that you're having, um, how would you describe it? Like in terms of consistency, is it thick? Is it thin, runny? On the thicker side. Okay, and then is it, um, are there any kind of lumps in it? Or a lot of people who tend to have um, yeast infections said, say that, you know, they'll get like a cottage cheese like discharge is it textured at all or is it pretty smooth kind of lumpy okay all right yeah. okay and how about any odor accompanying the discharge yeah okay got it that's not uncommon don't worry okay and have you had any history of vaginal infections in the past any kind of yeast infection or Bacterial vaginosis, anything like that? No? Okay. It's your first time you're kind of experiencing this. Okay, yeah. It's not uncommon. Don't worry, okay? Any kind of discomfort um, when you're urinating or using the bathroom at all? 
no no stinging you're able to empty the bladder fully okay great well i'm glad you have no issues with that that's good right okay um and then the pelvic pain that you're feeling um i know you said, kind of said like the pelvic area um has been hurting um do you kind of experience how would you describe the pain is it sharp in nature more achy throbbing yeah like a general ache throughout the pelvic area okay so not favoring one side more than the other it's just kind of general right across the whole pelvic region okay got it all right so what I'll do um, is I'm going to step out of the room um, for a couple of minutes. I'll give you some privacy to undress from the waist down. You can keep your top on. That's fine. But just the pants and the underwear, if you're able to take those off for me. Um, and then um, we'll have you have a seat on the bed and just cover the lower half with the blanket. Okay. And then I'll be back in um, a few minutes to examine you and then take a few swabs. Okay. All right. Thank you. Is it all right for me to come back in? Okay, great. Thank you. Great. So you're all undressed. Okay, thank you. Are you feeling okay? Okay, great. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. Um, I'll try to make this as quick as possible, um, but I do like to give the disclaimer that if at any time, you know, you need to take a break or you need me to stop for whatever reason, then please just let me know. Okay? Um, and also, um, we do offer at our clinic, you know, the option for um, you to have a chaperone. So if you feel more comfortable having someone, um, another member of staff come into the room and be present uh, during the exam, we can definitely arrange for that if you prefer. Um, is that something you are interested in? No? Okay. You feel comfortable enough to... Okay. Great. Yeah, we always just like to um, offer that to people. Some people do prefer to have another um, person present um, in the in the exam room. So I just like to ask. Perfect. So um, what we're going to be doing, um, like I was telling you, is we're going to do a quick exam. Um, yeah, so I will be using a speculum if that's okay with you. I'll try to find a small one. Um, but I kind of want to take a visual examination, see if I can see any kind of irritation. Um, and then I will definitely, um, take a quick vaginal swab, um, of the discharge so that I can send it off to the lab, um, and they can, um, let me know if there is any infection present, okay? Uh, results for the swab do come back fairly quickly, so we should have them in less than 24 hours. Um, usually by, let me see... So it's about 4.30 right now. Um, yeah, you're our last patient. So I'll get this down to the lab after um, collection. And then usually by tomorrow morning, maybe around noon at the latest, is when we get the results. So we'll um, contact you and let you know what's going on. Okay? Alright. I mean, going off of what you've been saying and what we've been discussing, um, I'm going to just start getting stuff ready. Um, but going off of what you've been saying, it does sound probably like a yeast infection. Um, Odor-wise, as you said, it's kind of unpleasant smelling. Um, is there a fishy quality to it at all? Yeah? Okay. It might, in fact, be, um, you know, sometimes people have um, something we call BV or Gardnerella. It's a common um, vaginal infection um, at the same time that they have a yeast infection. So it sounds you might have a combination of both, um, but I'll take a look um, to see, okay? Yeah. And don't worry, um, um, bacterial vaginosis is not a STD or STI, so not sexually transmitted, but it's a common... Um, vaginal infection that people get um, when the natural flora or bacteria of the vagina um, is kind of overproduced or you have, um, yeah, so too much kind of gets out of balance.
Yeah, and then it can cause, you know, things like discharge, um, vaginal itching, mm -hmm. some people even pain with urination. Mm -hmm. But um, we will take a swab and get to the bottom of it, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then if it's a yeast infection, you know, um, which are very common, it could be, one of the reasons could be, you know, scented products do irritate the area down there. Sometimes if you're just particularly stressed or your immune system's low for whatever reason, you can be more susceptible to infection. So um, it's not that you've done something wrong or anything like that, um, but sometimes these things just happen, yeah? Okay, so what we'll do um, is we're going to um, go ahead and recline you, and then I'm going to go ahead and examine you um, with a speculum um, and see what's going on, okay? Do you have any questions at all for me before we get started? No? Okay, great. So I'll go ahead and tie my apron, and then um, I'm going to go ahead and recline you, okay? All right. So I'm going to grab the lever on the um, back of the chair here, and then I'm going to slowly um, recline you back, okay? All right, here we go. So go ahead and just lean right back against the pillow. There you go. Perfect. Okay, so you're nice and reclined. Are you in a pretty comfortable position, or as comfortable as you can be for now? Are you okay? Okay, great. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my gloves, but again, we have your feet in the um, stirrups for now. We'll do a quick, um, we'll do a quick pelvic exam, and um, before I use the speculum, I just kind of want to, <coughs> excuse me, um, I'm going to insert two fingers into the vaginal area, and then I'm going to be pressing on the abdomen to just kind of investigate a little bit more um, of the pelvic pain, okay? Yeah, I just want to palpate on the tummy, um, pelvic area, and see if I, you know, everything feels normal, okay? All right. So I'm going to get a little bit of lubricant here. Okay. Got my satchel. Remember, if at any time you do need to stop, then just let me know, okay? Alright, here we go, okay? I'm going to insert two fingers. Okay, and then I'm going to be pressing right here on the abdomen right now. Okay. Is that alright? Okay. Any sharp pain at all? No? Okay. But just the general achiness just right across this whole area. Okay, got it. Yeah. Ovaries feel okay. That's good. All right. And I don't feel any lumps or any bulges here, so that's good. So no abnormal um, masses on the abdomen at all. That's good. Okay. Um, yeah. Give me five minutes here. So what I'll be doing is I'm just going to swab right outside the opening of the vagina, okay, um, before we get started. And then I do have a speculum here that I will be using so that I can further examine um, inside the vagina, okay? And then here I have a couple of swabs. So it comes in a kit like this. 
two swabs so like this that I will gently just um, take a sample with from inside okay and we'll send it off to the lab all right so we're going to begin the exam okay I'm gonna start off by um, inserting a speculum with some lubricant just so that I can get better visualization of the inside okay all right Let me open up the packet. And then I'm just going to put some lubricant on here, okay? Alright. You ready? Yeah, it's just a plastic speculum, so don't worry, it's not going to be cold. And then I picked the smallest size, okay? Alright, here we go. You ready? So we're going to insert this speculum, okay? All right. And then I'm going to turn it sideways so that I can open it, okay? Here we go. Okay, there we go. Let me put this in place to hold it. You all right okay you're doing great so what I want to do really quick is I'm going to go ahead and take um, I'm gonna clean the outside okay so I have some sterile swabs here I just want to clean the outside of the opening yeah and just want to check it's a little bit irritated you said on the outside yeah okay so I'm just gonna um, clean with these swabs around here and then I'm gonna um, take a sample from inside the vagina okay all right here we go it shouldn't be hurting at all it's just cold and some pressure around the opening Good. And then I'm gonna get another one here. Do another swab here. So just cleaning around the opening. And then the last swab here. Okay, good. Do you feel any irritation right here? Yeah, it's a little bit red, a little bit raw here. And then as well here. Okay, so it's not uncommon to have some irritation um, outside, but mostly it's internal, you said, right? Okay, all right. And then I'm gonna take a little swab here, okay? So I'm gonna hold it with a long, um, instrument it won't hurt it's just a little bit of a tickly feeling but i'm gonna take a little sample here okay all right okay yeah i do see quite a bit of discharge um in the vaginal canal And then um, I have two swabs, like I was telling you, that we're going to do. So let me open that up. It comes with a really long um, handle here, and then a long tube that I'll put it into after, okay? Alright, so we're going to take a swab here. It looks like it's probably a yeast infection, to be honest. Yeah, there's quite a bit of discharge that I'm seeing here. You might also have what we were talking about earlier, though, the bacterial vaginosis. The discharge here is a little bit 
grayish green. Some of it is white, but um, yeah, there, there is some excess. Um, discharge here. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in here. And then we're gonna do one more pass, okay? With the second swab, we'll send two samples off. So one more time. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very delicate ecosystem inside. Um, it's a self-cleaning organ, so, you know, but sometimes the balance just gets thrown off by either external factors or stress and whatnot. So, you know, please don't feel like you're abnormal. This is something that happens quite commonly, okay? Yeah, sorry, I'm just getting a very good sample. I just want to make sure that we get from all um, areas inside. Mm-hmm, there you go. Okay, all right, so we got a very good sample here, okay? I'm gonna put it in the tube, and then we'll send it off, okay? All right. Okay. But yeah, the walls do look inflamed here. So I'm pretty sure it's going to come back positive for yeast and BV. Okay. All right. What I'll go ahead and do um, is I'm going to um, remove the speculum and then we'll have you get dressed. Um, because it looks pretty positive for yeast and BV, I'm going to start you on antibiotics already. Okay, and then I'm going to have the results by tomorrow, um, lunchtime at the latest. So if we don't give you a call first, then please um, call our office to check for them, okay? Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and um, unscrew this here so that I can retract the um, speculum. Okay, alright, let me take it out, sorry. All right, excellent. So yes, I'll leave the room again and then we'll have you get um, dressed back up, okay? And then I'll be back in a couple minutes. Thank you. Okay, so you did really, really well. Are you okay? Yeah? Okay, great. So yeah, um, what we'll do is I'm gonna send off those two swabs that we got. We got a really good sample. But like I was telling you, it does look like you are pretty positive for at least a yeast infection, if not um, bacterial vaginosis as well, okay? Again, they're very common infections. Um, neither of them are sexually transmitted, okay? So I don't want you to worry about that at all. Um, but because it looks like you are positive, I want to start you on some antibiotics. Um, and then you will hear about the results um, tomorrow noon at latest, okay? Um, but usually um, when we have two infections coinciding, um, I want to treat the bacterial vaginosis first um, and the yeast infection second. And that's only because a lot of um, women will get yeast infections from taking antibiotics. So I don't want to treat your yeast infection and then you have to take more antibiotics to treat the BV and then you get another yeast infection if you know what I mean. Yeah, so what we'll start you off with, um, when I was looking in your chart earlier, I didn't see any um, allergies to any medications. Um, is that correct? Yeah, okay, perfect. Um, what I'll give you, um, well, there's two options here. Do you prefer a vaginal cream um, that you would apply into the vagina before bedtime, or would you like to take an oral tablet? The oral tablet? Yeah, that's the route that most people uh, choose to treat with. Yeah, it's just, you know, most convenient, and it's less messy. Um, the cream, if you were to choose that route, you would put it in at bedtime so that, you know, it 
has a tendency to stay in and it's not um, coming out with gravity as you walk around during the daytime. But I can definitely understand why a lot of people would prefer the oral tablet. Um, yeah. Okay. So in that case, um, if you do prefer the oral tablet, I'm going to prescribe you um, a seven day course of an antibiotic called Flagyl. Um, it's Flagyl 500 milligrams. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to take one tablet every morning and one tablet every evening. So I would do it at the same time, you know, every day. So say 9 a.m., 9 p.m. or 8 a.m., 8 p.m. Yeah, I do it every 12 hours. You're going to do that for seven consecutive days. Make sure not to miss a dose, okay? And you're going to have to complete the entire course. Even if the symptoms go away, um, we need you to complete the entire course of the antibiotics, okay? The thing with Flagyl is we do want to um, remind you that you cannot have any drinking alcohol while you're on the antibiotic, okay? Taking Flagyl and drinking alcohol um, together or at the same time is going to cause extreme nausea. So please, please just be very mindful. Um, no alcohol while you're on the Flagyl, okay? And then right after the Flagyl is done, the next day... Um, you're going to start the fluconazole for the um, yeast infection. And that's only a three-day course, and it's only one tablet once a day. So, um, yeah, I would just take it in the morning time. So every morning for three consecutive days, and then um, the symptoms should resolve themselves, okay? But yes, we will definitely confirm um, what I suspect tomorrow um, in the morning time. I'll give you a call or I'll reach out to you through the portal. Okay, and if you have um, haven't heard from us for some reason, give us a call back. Um, we're just a little bit short staffed here, so we try to be on top of everything. But you know, um, if you haven't heard from us, um, do give us a call. Okay, so I'll send in the flagell and the fluconazole to your pharmacy. Um, I'll send it through the computer, and then probably on your way home, if you're able to stop there um, and pick it up, um, I'd start taking it today. Okay. All right, do you have any questions for me at all? No? Okay, well, you did a really good job. Yes, thank you for, um, you know, feeling comfortable enough with, with me um, and letting me examine you. Um, and I do hope you'll start to feel better, but um, we'll get these um, samples off to the lab and then they'll tell us um, or confirm what I suspect to be true, okay? All right. And as always, you have our, our number. So call me if you have any questions. Call me tomorrow if you haven't heard from me. OK. All right. OK. Yes. Yeah, so when you're ready, um, you can go ahead and come on out of the room and then we'll check out with. Um, yes, we'll check out at the front desk. OK. All right. Well, it was really nice to meet you and I'll talk to you soon.